glimpse of what shows you what is heaven and hell. Heaven and hell is conditions on earth. How you doing, sister? Heaven and hell is conditions on earth. Go ahead. What y'all got? What you got? You got something? Romans 3, verse 1. Matter of fact, give me, give me Matthew 12, 28. Matthew 12, 28. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 28. Right. But if I cast out devils give me, by the Spirit. Fact, give me 27. The book of Matthew. Israel, let me get this real quick. Yeah. Go on. Come on, man. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Leviticus 19, 1 and 19, jump down to 17. This be Leviticus 19, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt do what? Not hate thy brother in thy heart. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Number two. Speak unto all the congregation of children of Israel. No, speak unto everybody. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. No, we are here to speak unto everybody. Speak unto all the congregations of the children of Israel. Go ahead. And say unto them, uh -huh. Ye shall be holy, for I... The Lord, your God, am holy. So the most I said we should be separate. We should be separate. For the Lord, our God, is separate. For the Lord, our God, is separate. So we should be separate from these other nations. Right? Because guess what? Nobody else do nothing better than you so-called blacks and Hispanics. Ain't nobody else invented nothing. You invented everything. Kings and queens of the earth, you invented everything. Right? Go ahead. Go we'll jump down to 17. Verse 17. Go ahead. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Slock it. Let's just back. Read that back. Let's let the let's let the bus roll out. I want the I want the police to hear what God got to say about the madness that's been going on all day with these people coming up with pieces like this. Go ahead, read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1. Right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Right. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. So we out here to speak to the Israelites. The Bible says speak unto all the congregation of the Israelites. Right? Go ahead. 
and to say it to, unto them. Go down, to, go down to 17. Verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. What, what do the Israelites supposed to not do? Shall not hate thy brother in thine heart. Because guess what? It seems like our people hate each other or hate us for teaching the truth. Our people like to get physical with us for teaching the truth. And you know why you don't know not to hate your brother? Because when you go to church, pastor don't teach you how to love your own people. What he do is he tell you God loves everybody and he teach, he show you this, he give you this, he give you the white Jesus. So when you look at Mr. White Man, you think you're looking at Jesus' kin folks. You say, oh no, I can't hate Jesus' kin folks. But when you look at your own people, you say, that's a nigga right there. I hate that nigga right there. Right? Go ahead. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Read that over again. Thou shalt not, thou, thou shalt in any wise. Read, read, read 917 again. Stop. Okay. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. And guess what? This is a law that we shouldn't hate our brothers or sisters in our heart. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So guess what? The scriptures say, by law, we should not have hatred for our people in our heart. We're supposed to correct our people. That's what the scriptures say. We're supposed to correct them. That's a law. Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. So we're not supposed to suffer sin on our people. Suffer sin mean allowed in the sin. We don't supposed to get physically violent with our people unless we are protecting ourselves. So how we don't allow our people to sin is correct them by the laws of God. Go ahead. No, no, no. Thou shalt not offend nor bear any grudge. So guess what? The scripture said we don't supposed to avenge. We don't supposed to take vengeance as a vengeance upon our people or bear any grudge, or hold a grudge, go ahead. Against the children of thy people. No, against everybody. Against the children of thy people. So the pastor should be telling you, you Israelites, you are your own, you are your brothers. Your neighbors are your own people. And you don't suppose to hold a grudge. You don't suppose to get violent. You don't, you're supposed to correct your brothers and sisters and not allow them to sin. Go ahead. But thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou should do what? <coughs> love thy neighbor as thyself. And we should love our neighbor as ourselves because we're supposed to correct them. Give me Proverbs 27. Hold up. We're supposed to correct our neighbor, so that's why we're supposed to love them as they self, as ourselves. We're supposed to love our brothers and sisters like we love our own existence. <laughs> Go ahead. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Open rebuke is better than what? Secret love. So guess what? If, I, if, if you correct your brothers and sisters openly, it's better than secret love. Secret love is fake love. Because fake love, you're not going to correct your brothers and sisters. You're going to let them go off. And really, you're around for your agenda, and you're just going to use them for what you want to use them for. You like their destruction. You understand? You enjoy that they being they doing things to destroy themselves. So you're supposed to rebuke, re correct your brothers and sisters. <laughs> Open rebuke is better than fake love. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 27. Right. He is not the God of the dead. Uh -huh. Come. The book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 28. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, right. and perceiving that he had answered them right. well, right. asked him, which is the first commandment of all? Right, so guess what? The scripture said that a scribe came to Yahweh shot. Right? And he heard him reasoning, so he came and asked him, what? Which is the first commandment of all? Right, so guess what? 
A lot of our Christian pastors, they like to be slick. A lot of our people like to be slick. You see what I'm saying? They, Because for real, a lot of our wicked people, they don't like to do the laws, or they like to play semantics with us brothers teaching. So this scribe was, this scribe was passed with Matthew for Yahweh shot. Because guess what? During that time, our people knew the law. They knew what was up. Go ahead. He asked them what? Which is the first commandment of all? Uh-huh. Verse 29. Uh-huh. And Jesus answered him. Uh-huh. The first of all the commandments is. Uh-huh. Hear, O Israel. The first of the commandments is what? Hear, O Israel. Hold up, brother. Say that again. What, what, what is one of the first of the commandments? Hear, O Israel. Hold up, Yahweh Shai said the first of the commandments is you Israelites listen. He's not talking about everybody. He said the first of these commandments is you Israelites listen to the law. Go ahead. The Lord is our God. The Lord is our God. Because Yahweh Shai was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He said the Lord is our God. Go ahead. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. We just read that. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 4 again. Read that over again. We're going to show you that Yahweh Shai was re repeating the laws of the Old Testament. Most of the stuff he was talking and teaching was out of the Old Testament. And a lot of you Christians say the laws is done away with and the Old Testament is done away with. Read that over again. He said what? And Jesus answered him, the first of all commandments is, uh -huh. Hear, O Israel, uh -huh. the Lord our God is one Lord. That's right. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 4 again. Let's see where Christ or Yahweh Shai took that from. Where is he? He's repeating that from. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Right. Hear, O Lord, the Lord our God. Read, read that over again, King. Hear, O Israel. Read that. Call the scripture. Deuteronomy 6, chapter 4. Verse 4. Go ahead. Hear, O Israel. So, the, so the, one of the laws is hear, O Israel. This is where Christ or Yahweh Shai was repeating this in Isaiah from. Go ahead. The Ma, Lord, I'm it. Ma, go ahead. The Lord our God is one Lord. Right. So like I said, that is the Israelite creed. Ye Shemai, Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh Akkad. In ancient Hebrew. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Go ahead. Read that back over again, King. Come on. This is the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, uh -huh. Hear, O Israel. No, hear, O everybody. Hear, O Israel. I thought Christ came to talk to everybody. Hear, O Israel. Right. The Lord... Our God is one Lord. Right, go ahead. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart. Right, so guess what? This is the part of the commandments. We should love our God with all our heart. And you can't love the Lord if you living after your own lust. Right? You can't live the Lord after the Lord. You can't love the Lord if you're a flaming homosexual, poor dog, and lesbian. You can't love the Lord if you hate your own people. And that's what we out here to teach. We ain't out here to teach no hate. Go ahead. And with all thy soul. Right. And with all thy mind. Uh-huh. And with all thy strength. Read Jeremiah 5, 22. Go ahead. This is the first commandment. That's right. The first commandment is to love the Lord thy God with everything you have. Right? Go ahead. And the second is like, namely this. And the second is like, namely this. It's like loving the Lord. The Lord compares the second commandment to two main commandments, but the second one, like loving the Lord. Go ahead. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And guess what? Your neighbor is the people of your own nation. It's not the person that lives next door to you that might be a Chinese. That's not your neighbor. Thou shalt do what? Love thy neighbor as thyself. Right? And guess what? We just read that in the... We just read that in Leviticus 19.17. So when the Lord was telling the, the people to love their neighbor as thyself, he was talking to the Israelites. He wasn't talking to the world because you other nations didn't get the law. What you got? 
Give me that. 14, 522. 522. This is Jeremiah 5 and verse 22. Right. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Will ye not? Hey, hey, what's going on? Give me, um, what is that? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15 and verse 12. And if thy brother, a Hebrew man or a Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free right. from thee. Right. Right. If thy brother, a Hebrew man right. or Hebrew so woman. It's telling you who your neighbor is. It's telling you blacks and Hispanics who your neighbor is. It's your own people. It's not the people oppressing you. It's not the people in your neighborhood called selling you uh, rat fried rice and beating your grandmother up in the nail salon. It makes your damn neighbors or brothers. Them is not your neighbor. It's not the herbs in the store that by law they can't eat pork, but they selling all you blacks pork in their store. I thought it's against their law to eat pork. But you a dog? Right? What about the Ethiopians now in the neighborhood? Us niggas can't get a steak in nobody's store. And we keep thinking we African. We not African. Show me the African got a rhythm like a damn black man. Show me that. Right? What you got? The Africans know you ain't them. They the ones sold you in slavery. And as a matter of fact, go ahead, Slot. What you got? Book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 4. Go ahead. Since thou hast since thou hast precious in thy sight. Since thou hast what? Precious in thy sight. Uh-huh. Thou hast been honorable. Uh-huh. And I have loved thee. Uh-huh. So the most I talking about the nation is give me, give me Malachi 3 and 1. Go ahead. Therefore, uh -huh. will I give men for thee. Therefore, will the most I give men for thee. I think we, we've already read that. Go ahead. I think. And people I think for thy life. Yeah, yeah, we just read that. Yeah. Go ahead. What you got? Give me that. Malachi, Malachi 3 and 1. This, this is Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Right. Behold, uh -huh. I will send my messenger. Uh-huh. And he shall prepare the way before me. Right. And the Lord whom ye seek. Right. So guess what? This is the Old Testament. You know how they tell you the Old Testament is done away with and the New Testament is only talking about Christ? All throughout the Old Testament referring to the Messiah. Read that over again. Behold, I will send my messenger. Right. And he shall prepare the way before me. So this is talking about John the Baptist. In the New Testament, when John the Baptist was preparing the, preparing the way for the Messiah to come. Go ahead. And the Lord, whom ye seek. Right? The, shall... Lord is, the Lord is who the world angry called Jesus Christ, who we were seeking to come. Go ahead. Shall suddenly come to his temple. What are you going to do? Shall suddenly come to his temple. Go ahead. Even the messenger of the covenant. Even the messenger of what? The covenant. And what covenant is that? What covenant is that? Even the messenger of the covenant. And let's see what covenant, what, what covenant Yahweh Shai was the messenger of? Give me Genesis, uh, let's give real quick. What was so-called Christ the messenger of what covenant? Slack. Real quick, Israel. Give me uh, Genesis, um, 15 and 5. We'll see what covenant. Read that back over again. 
Malachi? Yeah, hold up. And the Lord, whom you, uh, this is Malachi, chapter 3, verse 1, in the middle. Sh uh, the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. Right. Even the messenger of the covenant. Right. Even the messenger of the covenant. Genesis chapter 22 verse 16 right and say uh -huh. by myself uh -huh. have I sworn uh -huh. saith the Lord right for because thou has done these things right that's like it thou has done this thing uh -huh. and has not withheld thy son right that's then this talking about Abraham this talking about read that back over again he's gonna send his messenger what and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple even the messenger of the covenant. So guess what? Yahweh Shai is the messenger of the covenant, and we're going to see what covenant. Go ahead. And has not withheld thy son. Right, and guess what? Abraham, when the Most High instructed him to do something, he didn't withhold his son. He did everything that the Most High told him to do. Go ahead. Thy only son. His only son. That's for you brothers and sisters keep talking about Ishmael is the Most High's son, and he got a covenant and this and that. And Ishmael is the most high son, right? Go ahead. That in the blessing uh, I will bless thee. And that in the blessing he will bless thee. He didn't say blessings. He said blessing. Go ahead. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed. No, he said that he will multiply thy seeds with an S. Thy seed. It said he's gonna multiply his seed. Go ahead. As the stars of heaven. Right, as the what? As the stars of heaven. And that seed is that is Isaac. He's gonna multiply his seed. Go ahead. And as the sand which is upon the seashore. And as the sand is upon which is upon the seashore. Just like it says, the children of Israel cannot be measured or numbered. Go ahead. And thy seed. Uh-huh shall possess the gates of the, of his enemies. The seed shall do what? Possess the gate of his enemies. Because Genesis 27, 40, or right after we get the blessing from Isaac, it tells you that all the other nations are supposed to bow down to us. Right. And serve us. Go ahead. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. And in thy seed shall all nations and thy seed earth. shall what? Shall all nations uh -huh. of the earth uh -huh. be blessed. Shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Because guess what? We're going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Go ahead. And called by other nations' names. People are going to be mistaken as for other nations. So that's what it means. In thy seed, all nations should be blessed. Come. Go ahead. Because thou has obeyed my voice. Because Abraham obey, obeyed the most high voice. Go ahead. Verse 19. Uh -huh. So Abraham returned unto his young man. Right. And they rose up uh -huh. and went together right. to Bathsheba. Right. And Abraham so dwelled. That was, just, that was just the most high making a covenant with Abraham. So he's going to send the messenger of his covenant. Go ahead. Give me that. Give me Nehemiah 17, 26. Uh, 13. Hold that. Go ahead. Second part. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Malachi. Chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. in the, starting in the middle. And now the, go, go down. Okay. Go ahead and see the my cup, the messenger of my covenant. Mm -hmm. go ahead. Even the messenger of the covenant, right? Whom ye delight in, right? Behold, he shall come, saying, saith, the Lord 
of hosts. And guess what? Our people delight in the messenger of the covenant. Right? And that's the Messiah. Our people delight.